Welcome back to GDPG, and today I am playing. We found his name. It's Kevin. His name is Kevin. His name is Kevin. His name was Kevin. That is the name of the episode. <laughs> Already done. You're so clever. So Kevin is uh, doesn't feel as strong physically as John does because, but he's got he doesn't speed. seem to stun them in, as much. Uh, but yeah, man, he's got speed. His area of attack is also lower. Boom, already with the level. Wow, yeah, that was super quick. Uh, what's dodge? I think that's the one thing space. I didn't... Oh, space is dead. Okay, that's a good dodge button, because you're going to be using that a lot. Heck yeah, son. Alright, hey, it's this pool again. Oh, maybe it'll show up this time. So I was thinking about it. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how they procedurally generate the levels. So I'm really curious, um, because a lot hmm. of the times they'll... For, for procedural generated games that have kind of an organic shape like this, um, they'll kind of like block out an area that's like all collision and then just draw paths in it, like have code that'll draw paths through it, and that'll just like um. be the level. Uh, and then they obviously the art like is programmatically added over those paths. Um, but I wonder if that's the case for this, because there are some things like this where it's like, well, this can't just like be carved out in the path unless like they just make a wider section, like they have it occasionally add a wider section. Well, you were talking earlier about chunking as well, right? And I've been thinking yeah. about it, and I think it actually is done, um, at least to some degree, because if you'll notice, all yeah, you got your Phantom Knives. Yeah. Ready for this? Boom. Boom. Oh, so satisfying. Um, so there is uh, all of this, uh, the levels and everything are built in triangles. They're much more organic and everything, but they're they're actually like most of the time you're moving around in, in chunks of tr uh, of diamonds. That's what it's like for diamonds. You mean like each of these areas? Mm-hmm. I guess that's kind of fair. Like I there's mean, a I dead could end do here. That but... programmatically, um, but it, it is possible that they built out each of these level areas in chunks and are just randomly piecing those mm -hmm. those chunks together. Um, that's generally how we do it when we make our randomly generated levels. Like, when we were working on, uh, what was it, Golem Fishing, mm -hmm. which is a project that might ne never see the light of day, <laughs> um, I, I actually built the level generator to do it that way. Um, and it's it's relatively easy to do it. Like, I'm not a good programmer, and I was able to do that, so <laughs> if I can do it, that's fair. you yeah. guys can, that's for sure. <laughs> you can do it, too. Pool of blood. Pools of blood. Pools of so blood. much blood. Man, we just keep getting that. Have you I got so good? Have you got the one that heals you to full every time you reach a new floor? No. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Whoa. Whoa. Assuming, of course. Whoa. You take wait. Damage. Double. What? Okay. What? This is actually new to me. You can go left or right. Oh yeah. I've never. I had feel that. like that's usually what I see when I am on the second floor. Really? That's yeah. never, never, never happened to me. That's pretty. Oh, that's I mean, that's pretty dodge. cool, though. I keep thinking that dodge is gonna be left click. What up? Not that you know, left click is really hurting me because I'm still throwing that's, daggers. And that's true. Is no uh, you should also use your electro. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, Q. Q. Oh, oh no, you're oh, in pools no, of no. acid. Pools of acid. Yeah, I'm sort of getting used to the keyboard still. Bats, red monster bats are like the worst. Bats are already the worst, and then man, he does ten damage every time he hits oh, you. No. Oh, mm, you are I'm not. Gonna... Things are not. Things yep. are not going swell. Oh no. Oh no. He gets an ability. Oh no, I think it was a relic actually, um, where every time you deal damage, it ignites the enemy on fire. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's amazing, especially uh, with him where you deal a lot of little damage to a lot of guys at once. And so, like, I would just rain arrows everywhere, or the daggers everywhere, and just everyone would start dying around me slowly. It's kind of fantastic. <laughs> so, um, when I played as him, I didn't get far enough to get execute, so you'll have to show me what it's like. Okay, well, did I get execute just now? You just got execute. Really? I yeah, thought, it literally just I popped up. execute You're just going to have to replay face. that in slow mode now. <laughs> yep, just called it out. 
don't know if that really calls for slow mo, uh, but so it's gonna happen just because I have to prove you wrong. Well, I mean, the edit note is now being written, so I guess I have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the interesting thing with Kevin, I think, is that he doesn't start with the the phase ability either, the, like the ability to turn invisible. Yeah, I, as I said, John's the only one that like started with an, with with That's his ability. Woo. So many butts. Remember your Electro. Oh, that's right. Uh, well, a little too late now. Oh, it does Those make relics. a noise when you run out of mana. That's actually... I didn't realize that before. Oh, I had that's, mana that time. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I was trying to show the sound, but I had already recovered mana. Yeah. I do feel like mana regeneration is pretty quick in this game, but I think it needs to be... God, this acid. That's, I mean, I agree. I feel like it regenerates about a comparable rate to your uh, cooldown, so good job, Systems Designer. Yeah, actually. Um, but uh, at the same time, it they make it to where, like, you can't just continuously span one ability over and over again because that ability each d does have its own cooldown. So because of that, you're forced to um, you're forced to use it. You should, you, you should stealth out of there, man. Shift. Shift, that's right. There we go. So execute. Ooh. And now too late. Oh. Well, this has gone south very quick. Oh, the door's go locked. There. That is... Oh, that's a challenge That's room? a challenge I've room. never seen one of those either. They are... Oh, sniped. Ooh. You're you're gone. This is it. No. Curtains. Curtains. I got this. It's actually not the worst situation I've uh, that's seen. That's fair. Hordes of skeletons, too. Just more opportunity oh, this is for not health. Good, though. No, that's not, not good. Get away from that guy. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Vampirism. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. He cut you dead. Really live. That's okay. Well, now I can level him up. And now that's he's going to be way yes. better. I think that's actually farther than... Well, no. I think when I... The first time I played Kevin, I actually got the farthest with him than I did with any other character. I just... This is floor three. I'm surprised I can't use him because whenever I play games like this with that, with that uh, you know, like gauntlet-like feel, mm -hmm. I tend to go for the fast characters. Um, but... Ooh, I got a bunch of levels. Increase Frenzy. Frenzy is your Increase basic attack? Damage. Frenzy is... Yes, that is your basic attack. So I think it's... Attack speed bonus. So I believe it's either... I, I don't know exactly if it's more damage based on your attack speed, or if you just attack faster based on the frequency of attacks. I mean, because I know if you kill... A certain amount of things in a short amount of time, you'll get like a temporary, like boost. Mm. It I, and maybe that's what frenzy is. It could be. She sort of has her name's Linda. Mm -hmm. Linda has kind of her own version of frenzy too, where if you shoot enough, she goes into like hyperdrive mode. Hyper, yeah. Where you can just like rapid fire. It's actually Man, it's really awesome. Powerful. But I don't know what sets it off. It, it seems like it's I think you have to kill random. a short amount of, or a, a lot of enemies in a short amount of time. I could see that. But I don't know. All right. I do like how fast Kevin is, though. Like, he moves a lot. Um, yeah. I mean, faster than <laughs> the other guys. But it's it's really satisfying. I After I got used to John and I moved to Kevin, I, I was like, I'm so fast. I'm like an anime character. <laughs> Especially because he runs with his arms behind his back. Oh like man, this. no! I think that's the name of the episode. <laughs> he runs like an anime. No, yeah, I was, I, I'm like an anime character. <laughs> I'm like an anime. He's a cool character. I think too. This stealth was a, was um, well utilized, which when you actually use it, use it on that guy right there, on the on the on the, on the archer. Bow. Yeah. Uh, Shift. Sh man. And then right click. I think it said. No, it's left click. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it's a wide Ooh. arc too, so it, it can't it hit more than one thing. Exactly, yeah. Like it seems like it should be used to kill one character, but actually it's really good for taking out a crowd. Um That's which is awesome. not normal for a stealth character. Usually it is just like a lot of damage on one specific character. So I kind of appreciate that change. Um yeah. you don't see that very often and like it's for that reason I feel like a lot of stealth characters usually kind of get left in the dust in the long-term meta of a game. Because single enemy DPS is usually, um... Not ideal. Yeah, it's, it's uh, expendable. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Like, it's good in a team setting, because then you can save that character for the boss battle, right? Um, but 
Yeah, in but you can like always this... do it without DPS, as in, like, yeah, most true. Or at least that's how a lot of, like, WoW players and Tor players looked at it. It's like, DPS is expendable, because at the mm. end of the day, anybody can deal damage, but only the healer can heal. That's well, true. That, that's not exactly true, but well, you get the point. It's I'm mostly at. true, though. Yeah. I'm glad to see that you actually don't dodge as well as me. I, or at least better than me. It's fair. <laughs> it's I'm having a hard time remembering that it's spacebar. I keep thinking that it's right click because that's what would feel most natural to me. And I could probably remap the keys, but yeah, I mean I, you can. I I, uh, I feel like I've never had a game where right click was dodge. Eh, I don't know. I think most of the time when dodging is a highly used mechanic, it's usually right click, from what I've seen. But maybe that's just the difference of the games oh. that we play. Well, that level is a good uh, place to leave off on after you yeah. kill those little spiders coming after you. So, they ain't oh, going psh, whatever spiders. They ain't oh, going nowhere. Hidey hole. All right, so no question of the day. I'm just going to stay here. Question of the day. All right, you know what? Uh, we haven't experienced the... Uh, we haven't experienced Linda yet, um, the archer. But we have seen a rogue knifey type character and our basic standard uh, fighter warrior character, uh, John. So... Those two characters being compared from what you've seen, what do you think about how those characters feel? Do you think that there's enough uniqueness with those characters that they are uh, that they have enough individuality of their own? Mm. Um, and what would you uh, recommend to uh, make those characters uh, feel more separate? Or um, do you think that there needs to be anything at all? Yeah, I think that's actually a really good question. I certainly have my opinions on it, but I'm really curious to see what you guys think too. So we'll we'll talk we'll talk in the comment section. <laughs> Is what'll happen. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to vote for more uh, Children of Morta if you want to see us play more. Yep. Um, we'll at least get another couple more episodes in, at least. And uh, Facebook video things. Facebook video things. <laughs> Glad you went with it this time. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Adios. <laughs>